Shooter.com training videos in chief architect and SketchUp. Okay, so for this particular video, I thought I'd walk you through the basics of SketchUp and give you an introduction because if you haven't used this free program, you're missing out on quite a bit because it does really do work well with uh, Chief Architect. So what I want you to do is go to Google, type in SketchUp. As you type it in, notice that uh, Google just automatically figures it out. It's kind of cool now. Uh, so their latest version now, September 2010, is version 8. So just download Google SketchUp and go ahead and launch it. And uh, let me show you, I've got mine already launched. Now, yours might not have as many icons uh, when you launch it, and that's just because I like the toolbars on. So I went to my toolbars and I checked everything on. So I have all these different options on, sometimes even in double. But uh, basically, this is the layout of, of SketchUp. And how it works is basically on the access lines. It shows you three-dimensionally how to build something. And there's some great training videos that walk you through basically everything. But let me show you the power of SketchUp for Chief Architect. I, we're going to build today a, just a simple column. I'm going to use this rectangle tool. And I'm just going to draw a small square in here where I want my column to be, or the base of my column. And you'll notice right now, if I use my orbiting tool, I can orbit around this. Basically, it's 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 like a two-dimensional item at this point, because it's just flat square on the base where I have it on the floor, which is zero here on this line. And I'm going to raise it up now. And the easiest way to do that is with this push-pull tool in SketchUp. So I'm going to click on it. And you'll notice when your cursor runs over it, it highlights that area. So I'm just going to click, holding down my left mouse button, I'm going to drag up. And you can see it give you the dimension over here in the corner. And then you can rise it up to whatever you'd like. And now look at it. It's a three-dimensional tool. And I'm going to use my orbit tool, and we can see all around it. See, they give you this false person to kind of generalize the size for you. Now, I think my base is a little bit big, so I want to trim a little fat off the sides. I can use different tools to do that. One of them is great. It's called this offset tool. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Click it one time in this area where it's highlighted. See how it would highlight this blue and this blue? I want this area right here highlight. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and drag it to where I want it to be. So I want my base to be about that thick. So now I'm going to use my push-pull and work in the opposite direction. Just bring it down to zero. And when it gets to zero, it does basically erase the rest of the material, which is great. And then continuing to use that offset tool, I'm going to put on some trim. Like, let's put a little bit out here. Let's uh, push-pull it up a little bit. Push-pull it up a little bit again. Let's do that again. I'm going to trim it right in about there. Pull it up a little bit. Maybe pull this up a bit. A bit more, a bit more. Maybe that a little higher. And then maybe on this one, I want the post to be about yay big. And of course, again, I'm just eyeballing things. And you can get measurements and get exact, but I kind of want to go quick. So I'm just eyeballing things to go quick. Here, I'm going to utilize that, go over, use my push-pull, raise it up, maybe about there. Bring this one up to match that. So I just run my cursor right over to that, and it grabs that area, localizes it out, which is great. So there it is. There's my post. A uh, little small, a little skinny, maybe too fat at the bottom. Mm, yeah, I'm not loving it. I noticed the bottom side is open, that that face plane did not get completed. I can easily fix that by just drawing a line on one of the intersecting points, and then it draws a full layer for me, which is great. Okay, so let's, um, let's keep going here. I want to um, uh, bring this in a little smaller. And I'm going to bring this down to this level, let's say. And then using my pencil tool, I'm going to draw from this top corner to that piece down there. And then I'm going to draw all the way back to this level here. And you notice it created its own layer or its own uh, flat side there. You see that? I'm going to use my eraser tool so I don't confuse myself. I'm going to get rid of this inner line. So I want it to be all one now. Okay, now with that layer set, I'm going to use this tool now, my follow me tool, and I'm going to grab this side, clicking one time on it. I'm going to tell it to follow along this line here, and then that line back there, then that line back there, and then come all the way around and attach itself there. 
Now what I've done is I've created a nice angle, nice flow off of it. I can even use my push-pull tool and I can do it again. Maybe I go up a little higher, maybe not much more. And then let's go again. Well, this time let's start on this side. I'll go from that corner up the wall about that much. Go down to this corner, click here, and go down to there, and I create a piece. I'm going to use my Follow Me tool again, and I'm just going to go right on around the model and click one time. And there I go. And you can see it's starting to take shape. So real quickly and easily, you can design a relatively unique um, post within this program. In fact, with Chief Architect, which is great, no matter what you color it, like let's go ahead and use our paint can. I'm going to drop down here. Um, well, that's interesting. <laughs> I'm going to use the drop down menu, which I guess is appearing over here. And let's go to stone. And I'm going to grab some stone and apply it on these two sides. Rotate over, grab it again, apply it on these two sides. And then I'm um, using the drop down menu that's over here. <laughs> it's kind of strange. I'm just going to grab this color and uh, I'll just color the top pieces, this color of carpet. And the only reason I'm doing these funny colors here is just to show you the power of how SketchUp can help you in your chief model when you're building these items in this SketchUp program. It will take the colors that you're using and import it into the program for you. So there's my column that I've built up. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the whole thing. By holding down my left mouse button, I'm going to drag over the whole thing, and I'm going to make it a component. A component will lock all these sides and layers into one piece. So now it's one piece, and it's easy to manipulate and move around at this point. So now that it's a component, I'm going to go up here and copy it and paste it. I'm going to paste it right where this one is. I'm just going to try to get it right near where that one is. And if I can't get it exact, no big deal. I can take my moving tool and go right to the corner there, click it one time, and go right to the corner where I want it, right there, one time. Now I know they're level and straight. Now I'm going to take my um, moving tool, which is this tool here, and I'm going to move it along the red axis. There we go. So move it across. Being close, staying careful to stay on target. There we go. And there I have two posts that I've built separated apart. I can get rid of the lady now because I really don't need her. I kind of understand what's going on. These are low posts, obviously. And, and if I wanted to make it a certain height, I could do so, which is great because it will reform the whole model. So I'm going to go down here, and it says to 5 feet. So let's go here and click to here. So I'm really from there to there, saying like 5 feet. Okay, so I want to take my tape dimension tool and do the same thing, going from the top to the bottom. Five feet, I want more like eight feet. And it'll resize the whole model, so both of these units get bigger. See that? Kind of interesting. Okay, I'll take my eraser tool and get rid of that. And now what I want to do is I want to take my arc tool. And I'm going to start about here, go straight across. And it gives me my red line showing me that I'm on my axis straight across. And I'm going to lift up a bit using my blue. Notice it's a blue line there in the middle. That's showing the axis straight over. Then I'm going to use my other straight pencil tool and go from that point on over to this point. And then I'm going to connect all the lines to make sure they're all connected. And by doing that, I should form a layer or a, a total a side of the item, which there it is. So again, I have a, a layer there. It's very thin, but it's a layer. Okay, so that's my arch layer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my push-pull tool. I'm going to click this one time. And I'm just going to drag it over to this side of the edge and click one time. And there it goes. I got my arch. Whoops. Excuse me. I got my arch in there. And that's exactly what I want. And then uh, what might be nice is these two connect and look correct. So to do that, I'd have to explode one side because, see, I can't touch this one layer, see, because it's all combined as a component. But I could touch these layers because they haven't become a component yet. So with this component, I'm going to right-click and just choose Explode. So it'll get me back to my sides. And then with that one selected, I could use the Push-Pull tool, grab it, 
and just come straight over to this side and connect it. Okay, there we go. That's my little Archie. Let's take that and import it in and see what happens. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, I'm going to save it to my desktop, and I'm going to call it 123. Now on my SketchUp model, right now I'm on version 8, and since you're using Chief Architect, uh, it's usually one model behind, like it can import in SketchUp Model 7, some 7, mostly 6, 5, 4. So what you like to do is save down your model, like save it down to version 5. That will allow it easily to be imported into Chief Architect without any problems. Click Save. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize the screen. I'm going to go to my Chief Architect plan. Now here's the SketchUp file that we've created. This SketchUp file, one, two, three, you see that we've created? There's many ways to import it into Chief. And the easiest, simplest way is just to drag it onto the screen and let go with your cursor. And it imports in with the textures. Remember I was telling you about those textures? Click one time, hit my space bar, go to my camera, full overview, and you'll notice I got all the textures imported in exactly how I built it. So you can see relatively quickly and easily we can build unique items with SketchUp that allow us to work well with Chief Architect when you have a certain column or a certain refrigerator or a certain style of anything you can build it in SketchUp and SketchUp has many many tools and online training videos that are totally free to watch to see how to use SketchUp and how to better, better um, move things around it's very very powerful in fact let me just show you another little crazy trick like let's say that uh, follow me tool was set on a, a circle or something so here's a circle I've created right and I'll um, use my follow me tool and I'll grab it and I'll put it along the edges I mean it's just amazing if you think about how powerful it can be it looks like it's coming there it goes got hung up on some of the other lines that are created so I gotta erase those other lines go in here and erase these other different lines to make sure it all works but you can see how powerful it works in just minutes to give you a very unique shape and style of something and so uh, I really do encourage you to use SketchUp for your chief architect models for when you're looking for that unique thing to build to make sure it works just right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson of uh, SketchUp and chief architect. Hope it's a good introduction. Um, these tools are very powerful. Like I said, play around with them, have some fun, watch those online videos, and I'll join you for some more lessons coming up soon. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.